So it is a private estate, but there is a permissive footpath only, so you can't go and explore off path, off into the woodlands. They're so far a very easy path to follow, nice and wide, just hugging the side of this very steep hill. Um, but we're not going to go the steepest route and Zoe's just said maybe we do come back and do this walk a few more times, each time doing a different yeah. route. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. It's super steep up there. The colours already on this walk are just really, really nice. All the greens and the yellows and browns all mixed together. It's beautiful. Oh yeah, orange with a slow green fade. But yeah, it's going to be a very relaxed walk I think today. We've seen a few people walking down so far, not many at all. Just going to be a very slow walk. Just enjoying these autumn colours. We probably won't see the sunshine until we're at the top. You can see it over there. But no sunshine for us as yet. We have found the sunshine just up there. Just coming through the trees. We've rounded the other side of the hill. Seems to be flattening out a little bit. But we've only been going for about what 25, 30 minutes. It's not a sh not a Long walk, I don't think. No? I'm looking forward to some 360 views. This is nice. That sunshine on my back. Beautiful light coming through the trees. So we are going to go this way, I think. We're going to turn right. Try not to get your feet muddy, though. Sort of an up off route path there. Hopefully, this is the right way, Zoe. It's not, it's not, it's not. It's nice to get into the woodland. So, there it is. Not too far to go. It kind of looks like there's a fence around the top. Can you see it, Zoe? It does, isn't it? But at the moment, we know nothing about Rodney's Pillar apart from. It's a lovely walk so far, but hopefully when we get to the top, we'll be able to give you a bit more information about, you know, why Rodney's Pillar is there. I think it's Sir Admiral Rodney's Pillar. Yes. But that's about all I know. But the history of it, how he got there, why? Yeah, we don't know. But hopefully we will do soon. So we're going to continue on this path over the sty. That sunshine is beautiful. So we're just saying how rewarding it is to climb a hill, just to just to climb a hill and enjoy it. Um, just to get to the top, enjoy the views, and just to take... Defeated the hill. Defeated the hill, yeah. And just take in the atmosphere of the hill. Yeah. And the views, just enjoy it. Makes you feel different. Yeah. We have got there. Woo. Woo. It's windy up here. It's a beautiful view over Shropshire though. And into uh, Wales over there. It's a shame that it's round it. You can't quite get up to the the sign and read it. This 
some stuff over this side as well, Zoe. Woo! It is a bit windier than I expected. We'll see if we can get the drone up though, what do you reckon? No. Yes, Zoe's no Zoe's not confident in the drone's abilities. I'm confident. Oh, I can read it this side, Zoe, look. Okay, I can't read it. In 1781, repaired in 1847. I can't read the top bit. What a place to come and enjoy sunset. I just said that. Did you? You're still in my lines. <laughs> That's what I said. It is quite a hazy day today though, so we can't see too far, but we can see far enough. So I thought I'd show you just how cold it is on this side of the hill. <laughs> it's pretty cold, but what do uh, what does climbing hills mean to us? It just means sitting and enjoying views like this, watching the sun go down, sharing a coffee, eating our lunch, yeah. getting the fresh air. Yeah, we just come to different places to eat our lunch, don't we? <laughs> Beautiful yeah. places. Get exercise and eat food. Yeah. Sea views. So we have just come off the summit. It's getting very, very chilly up there. I managed to get the drone off. It's a really nice little flight. Zoe's got some amazing photos, I think, yes. in there. Some people just set up all nice and it looks really good. But the views are still amazing. But the wind on this side, it's just, oh, it's gone. It's bliss. But my hands are freezing. I you, bet they are after having You feel yours? Not too bad. Mine are colder, maybe. Yeah. But yeah, cold hands. So we are going to start to head down now. We would have loved to stay up there and just watch that whole sunset, but hands are getting cold. Hands are getting very cold. Very windy on top. And we're going to enjoy a nice sort of sunset walk yeah. now. It's like this place is on fire, look. This is it. Here are all the pheasants. Beautiful. I didn't notice it being this orange on the way up, maybe because of the light now. Well, thank you for tuning into our video. A short walk up to Rodney's Pillar. 
We will explore some of the other routes up and a bit further around the sort of Rodney's Pill area next time we're here. Yeah, definitely. And it's been a lovely walk. Um, have you enjoyed it? I've loved it. Definitely want to come back again. It's a shame you can't mountain bike up here because it'd be lovely to bring the bikes up and then come down. But the sounds and the colours just in this little section here. I was just saying we picked the perfect timing. Sometimes you're tempted to sort of get up early, do the walk, get it done early, but we're, we're late starters anyway, so starting this a bit later, you get to enjoy this lovely light on the way up and the way down. Yeah, we've had two different types of light, it's lovely. You can see more of the orange now. So we're going to have a nice walk down and we will see you all on the next one. Thank you to everyone that's clicked subscribe and much appreciated. See you all soon.